This is Jacob from the Terrell Severe Storm Center. We are watching the weather. It is going to be kind of interesting through the next several days. Well, for the next few days, it's going to be kind of clear out there, so not really interesting there. Uh, having said that, we are watching what could be coming in Thursday night and lasting super perhaps um, Sunday. Um, the remains of Tropical Storm Hermie have been, uh, you know, Tropical Storm Hermie has made landfall, made landfall, um, on Monday night, Labor Day night, um, and so it is spread throughout the Texas, and it is at Texas right now. The latest models take Hermie up into the central plains, and then as a cold front is going to come down from Canada, we should see the, um, Hermie start to spread eastward into the Ohio Valley, so, um, we're going to probably get the remains of Hermie, which would be in the form of some, of several rain showers here. Let me take you a look at, let's take a look at one of the model runs. This is Thursday, and as you can see, this is, um, uh, let me scoot this over here just a bit. As you can see right here, this is about Thursday. Let me zoom in just a little bit. This is about Thursday. I'd say during the late afternoon, perhaps evening hours, we see the rain starting to creep into Indiana. And then if we go advance to the next model run here, this is it. Again, Thursday night, later on Thursday night, we're going to see what is left of Fermi. This is what's left of Fermi right here, right around here. And it's going to be spreading into our area. And then as we go into Friday, um, we start to see, we continue to see Hermes still around to a certain extent. It looks like it's going to be through Thursday night, end of Friday. Let's kind of advance here and check out the last model run for Friday. And still could be some rain around by Friday night, mainly in southern Indiana. It looks like what's the main part of Hermes should be confined to central and southern Indiana. That's where we should see the most rainfall, according to the models. Then I want to take you into Saturday, here, day five. And then again, on Saturday, as this, um, as this cold front moves into the area, you can see all, all, almost all of Indiana could be experiencing some rain and perhaps some thunderstorms as well. And that continues through the day on Saturday, well, until... We reach maybe about Saturday night is when things should start to clear out. Let's take a look at this model run. So perhaps sometime Saturday afternoon, according to the um, models here. But we could see some. She has some showers and thunderstorms around during the day on Saturday, and maybe most likely just some rain showers on uh, Friday here. I know we um, we talked about. We talk about sometimes when tropical storms and hurricanes make landfall, they can sometimes produce brief tornadoes. I really seriously doubt that we're going to have any tornado threat on Friday when Hermie comes through. But it's something that we'll keep an eye on for you, but I really doubt it. And then on Saturday, we'll have to watch for some thunderstorms. There's an indication on Saturday that maybe one or two of those storms could reach strong, perhaps severe limits. Maybe one or two. Uh, I don't think it's going to be anything too widespread. Um, but, yeah, maybe a couple of storms going to severe limits. I'll, I'll take you to um, what the Storm Prediction Center's uh, uh, day um the five outlook is, and as it says, day five, Saturday, current indications are that nothing beyond an isolated marginal severe risk would exist along and eastward advancing the cold front across the Midwest and Ohio Valley. So having said that, could just be maybe one or two severe storms on Saturday. Probably the main threat is going to be flooding, and of course we will continue to keep you updated on uh, the flooding threat and maybe the severe threat on Saturday.